In the Fortnite Sneakers 101, we talked about steps to take before even thinking about buying sneakers. In the Fortnite Sneakers 102, we're gonna talk about five steps that I use to afford sneakers when I have a little bit of cash money in hand, AKA fun money. And I think they'll help you guys too. Stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome to Casa Station where we talk sneakers. My name is Zoe, and if you're here for the first time, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss any dope sneaker content. The topic you've all been waiting for, how do I afford to buy sneakers part two, AKA affording sneakers 102. Guys, I have five strategies on how I afford to buy sneakers, and I'll be explaining them to you right now. Patience. Patience indeed is a virtue. So number one guys, be patient. Yeah, you want to buy those $500 sneakers, but little do you know, maybe a month from now, two months from now, etc., etc., that sneaker might fall to 50 bucks. That's hyperbole, but you know what I'm trying to say. Anyways, be patient guys. Be aware of the climate of the sneaker game because when you're aware of which sneakers are going to be hot or not, you'll be able to grab steals to your liking. So be very, very patient. And another way to be very, very patient and something that might help you guys is following sneaker communities on Reddit, sneaker communities on apps such as sneakers on apps. And I'm not talking about the S-N-K-R-S sneakers, but I'm talking about the actual word sneakers and there's an app for it, and there's a really nice community on there that discuss sneakers 24 7 so get on that you could even subscribe to people's uh, Facebook pages um, Twitter Instagram etc etc and get plenty of information as to which sneakers are going to sit on shelves versus which sneakers are going to fly off shelves and you could take advantage of the ones that are sitting are most likely going to sit on shelves so that you could possibly get a steal at a discounted price and that segues into my number two Look out for sales. So one major way that I afford sneakers is by looking out for sales. Anytime there is a sale going on, if I love that sneaker, I cop as quick as I can because I'm always trying to save money when it comes to purchasing sneakers that I like. How do I do this, you might ask? Well, follow social media sites that specialize in distributing link information as to when sneaker sales are going on. A cool example of that is Soul Links, and I'll put more information in the description section if you guys are interested in that. Also, follow social media blogs, follow your fellow sneaker enthusiasts on social media as well. A perfect example of this is, uh, happened to me a couple days ago. Eddie Wynn Kicks put out a message saying that, you know, swooshless dunks had gone on sale for about down to $60 and I copped those really, really fast. And those shoes were going for about $120 to $150 about six months to a year ago. So this is gonna be a dope summertime shoe that I'll be rocking and that I really like and that I could add to my collection. So definitely follow people on social media. Follow me if you can because I retweet like crazy. I'm a retweeting maniac. I always retweet sales that are going on on Twitter especially. That's the first place I do it on. So if you want, follow me on Twitter and you could possibly get some deals but I would also suggest following the people directly so that you could get it faster before the shoes sell out. So yeah, number two, make sure that you look out for sales. Put certain habits on time out. Give up unnecessary habits, people. That's what I do, and that's what my significant other has done in her life, and this could be applicable to everybody. Really, you know, this could be applicable to buying Starbucks every day, this could be applicable to buying that lovely girl at the club that you'll never see again a drink, or, you know, spending money on things that you don't really love or adore, etc., etc. An example with my future wife anyways is Starbucks. Recently she gave up Starbucks and she's realized that she saves a lot of money 
from not buying Starbucks anymore. She just buys ordinary coffee from the store of her desire and she saves a lot of money doing that. A perfect example, a calculated equation is that if you spend five bucks on a coffee every single day, that ups up to $150. Hello, that is $150 that you could put towards a shoe. And so by eliminating unnecessary habits, you could save up money to buy shoes if you really, really love shoes and really, really want to buy shoes. Mingle with fellow sneaker enthusiasts. Another good way to buy sneakers is by networking with fellow sneaker enthusiasts. Guys, when you network with people that are interested in similar things that you're interested in, and don't be annoying about it, but you do, you know, network with them and, you know, befriend them, you can end up getting deals from them, you know? I've had that happen many of times in my, you know, beloved sneaker life. And so I would suggest trying to network with people online, in sneaker communities, Reddit, etc., etc. Attend different, you know, sneaker events and try to see if you can mingle with people that have the same similarities and likings as you do because you never know. Maybe tomorrow you'll find the plug. I don't have a plug, but maybe you will. Kill two birds with one stone. And last but not least, guys, kill two birds with one stone. No, I'm not advocating for human on pigeon violence. I'm using it as a metaphor. What I mean is just try to get a job at a sneaker store, sneaker boutique, or you know, a foot locker, finish line, etc. etc. of your choice or liking, and essentially try to get an employee discount at those particular stores. That way, you're doing two things. One, you're gaining employment, making some income, and two, you're also being able to uh, get shoes at a discounted price, an employee discount. So that is something really smart that you could do to try to afford sneakers. Cost the question of the day, guys. What techniques do you guys use to afford sneakers? I would like to know. Leave some comments down below and let's talk about it. Hey guys, so my sneaker talk is up for today. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you guys don't miss anything. Also, if you guys are interested in knowing what to do before you purchase sneakers, go ahead and take a peek at Affording Sneakers 101 to give you guys some information on how to do that. But anyways guys, until next time, deuces. Hey guys, if you want to watch more sneaker videos that are dope sauce, go ahead and subscribe by clicking the link down below that says Casa Station. My name is Zoe, and until next time, deuces.